Hello and welcome back to the OSM channel. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to safely sharpen lawnmower blades with a four and a half inch angle grinder. We have a lot to cover, so let's get started. Now, the first thing I wanna cover is how do you know what is the proper disc to use to accomplish this task? Before I go over discs, it's important that we understand that these discs have RPM ratings, speed ratings, and we don't wanna exceed that. So on every angle grinder, if you look at the manufacturer's label, it'll tell you what the maximum RPM of the tool is. For example, this Makita spins up to 10,000 RPMs. And that's really important because when we go to purchase our discs for this job, we need to ensure that that disc is rated at at least 10,000 RPM. Generally, these discs are almost always rated at 13,000 RPM, but take a look at the disc and just ensure that it exceeds the RPM rating of your grinder. With that being said, there are many different types of discs. For example, this is a diamond tipped disc and this is designed for cutting through masonry work. We obviously don't wanna use that. This is a very thin aluminum oxide disc and this is designed to cut through steel at a perpendicular angle. We do not wanna use this for grinding. If you try to use a cutoff disc as a grinding disc, what could potentially happen is as this is spinning, It'll create an imbalance, it'll wobble, and this quite literally could explode and impale you. So you definitely don't want to use one of these skinny aluminum oxide cutoff discs for a grinding application like what we plan to do today. Now they do make thick grinding discs. As you can see, this disc is significantly thicker, and if we take a look at the label here, it does say that it is a grinding wheel. So this is an appropriate tool to use to grind down these blades. These grinding discs are great at removing a lot of material quickly. However, the drawback is that they leave the surface of the metal very coarse and rough. And that's not what we want for our lawnmower blade. So we're not gonna use the grinding disc, although in theory we potentially could. So the discs we are going to be using today for today's application and what you should use to sharpen your lawnmower blades are called flap wheels or flap discs. This one is a 40 grip flap disc, meaning that it is coarser and it's gonna uh, remove more material a little bit quicker. And we also have a 60 grit flap discs. Both of these are four and a half inch diameter, so they are designed to work with our four and a half inch angle grinder. And taking a look at both these discs, this one's rated at 13,000 RPM, so it is safe to use with our 10,000 RPM grinder. And this one over here is rated at 12,000 RPM. So again, this one is also safe to use with our grinder. So now let's take a closer look at this flap disc. So this flap disc is basically layers of sandpaper laid over one another. And then as we grind over our material, the sandpaper is going to wear away, but as it wears away, it will expose new sandpaper. So these flap discs actually last for quite some time. So what grit flap disc should you use to sharpen your lawnmower blades? Well, it's up to you. You can use 40 grit, 60 grit, 80 grit. All of those will work just fine. Me personally, I'm going to stick with the 60 grit today because I feel like that's a good uh, medium. Now I would like to teach you how to install a flap disc on your angle grinder. So with the angle grinder unplugged, Look at the top side of the angle grinder. Look for some type of button, a, a detent. On my Makita, there's a black detent right here. So what I'm gonna do, push and apply continuous pressure on that detent, spin the wheel until it locks. So it's locked in right now, but just to show you, I'm gonna push down on that detent, spin the wheel till it's locked. Now that it's locked in place, I can flip this over, take my removal tool. You can see those two little prongs on the removal tool. I'm gonna insert those into the holes on the lock nut, twist this counterclockwise, which will loosen up this retention nut. Take the retention nut off, remove the old disc. We can then install the flap disc, ensuring that it's centered. So there's a centering ring, this inner ring. So ensure that this disc is centered on the ring. See that's centered, that's not. So now it's centered on the ring. Take a look at your lock nut. Notice how there's a little flange, it sticks out a little bit on the right side. Well, you want that facing up. So we're gonna spin on our lock nut. Still while holding that detent on the back side of the tool. Give this a little spin, ensuring that this disc is centered. And finally, I'm gonna take my lock tool, insert it onto the lock nut, just give this a little twist clockwise, ensuring that this lock nut is good and tight. Give it a little spin, ensure that it's even, looks good. We are now ready to use our flap disc. 
Next, we need to clamp our lawnmower blades down to our workbench. In this case, I'm going to use these 11R vice grips. Also ensuring that the blade is sticking out past the edge of the workbench so we can sharpen this with the grinder. All right, let's quickly go over PPE. So we are going to be creating some hot sparks, so ensure that you don't have anything flammable nearby, have a fire extinguisher nearby, probably a good idea. But jeans, boots, a cotton long sleeve shirt, no strings if you're wearing a sweatshirt, but avoid synthetic materials because you want to try and ensure that you don't catch on fire. Uh, synthetic materials have a higher likelihood of catching on fire, but it's important that we have good PPE as well. Open the garage door, get some ventilation going through the space. Safety glasses, good idea to have a respirator on because we're going to be kicking up some nasty dust. A face shield, this is really important. In case that disc does decide to come apart, this will help to protect your face and your neck. Of course, hearing protection and some good gloves. All right, now let's talk about where you should set the pitch of your cutting edge at. So this is the cutting edge and the pitch is basically how steep or how shallow that cutting edge is. So my recommendation in most cases is just try and match what your blade came with from the factory. However, if you do find yourself cutting through a lot of thick brush or it's the fall and you're mowing through a lot of sticks, you know, don't want to pick those up and just want to mulch them. My recommendation would be that when you're grinding this cutting edge, make that pitch steeper, which in turn will make the cutting edge a little bit thicker. It's not going to wear down as quickly. And additionally, if you hit an obstruction, it's going to put less of a ding in that nice sharp edge. The downfall of having a steep pitch is your engine's going to have to work a little bit harder because it's, it's more tearing through uh, the grass and whatever it is you're cutting through as opposed to slicing through it. So on the flip side of that, if you have some nice clean grass and you know you're not going to hit any rocks or sticks or anything, you could create a shallower pitch which means that the cutting edge is a little bit thinner, so it'll slice through the grass a little bit easier. It's gonna put less strain on the uh, motor, but the downfall to that is your blade is gonna dull down a little bit quicker. So it's kind of up to you, but in most cases, I'd recommend just sticking with the pitch that your blades came with from the factory. So how do you do that? Well, you're gonna take your angle grinder in a moment here, and we're gonna turn this on. And basically what I like to do is try and match the pitch of the blade. And what I'll do, I'll just do a little pass and kind of see how my pitch is, right? Because again, we're trying to match the pitch of the angle grinder to the pitch of the blade. Now, if I find that only the top side of the blade is getting shiny, that means that I have the angle grinder set too shallow. If I find that only the bottom side of the blade is getting shiny, that means that I have the angle grinder pitch set too high. So basically what I'm trying to do as I swipe this angle grinder down along the length of the blade, I'm trying to ensure that the blade becomes shiny all at the same time, which means that we are matching the pitch that these blades came with from the factory. Also an important safety tip, never put your angle grinder down while the disc is still spinning. If you want, you can bury the disc into your workbench with the switch off, that way it stops spinning and then you can safely put it down or just hold it until that disc stops spinning. So how much do you grind down off the cutting edge of your lawnmower blade? Well, here's the test. Take a glove finger, pull from the underside of the blade and see if a little burr comes up. If a little burr comes up like that, you know that you have ground down enough material. Now, if you want, you can leave your lawnmower blades like this and they'd be fine, or you can take a honing stone and you can start doing some small circular motions and try and remove that burr. Flip that burr down a little bit. Of course, you could flip the blade over and it would be a lot easier, but now if we take a piece of paper, go over this, cuts right through the paper. Now, when it comes time to hone your lawnmower blades, it's definitely a lot easier to do that with the blade flipped upside down. Only reason I didn't flip it upside down is because I got a little lazy, didn't want to have to set up the camera again. But anyway, that concludes this video on how to safely sharpen lawnmower blades with a four and a half inch angle grinder. What I would really like to know is how do you sharpen your lawnmower blades? Is it any different than my method? Please let me know down in the comment section down below. As always, I will catch you on the next one.